Hunter back on the campaign trail after a week off. Outside his Wisconsin rally, protesters. ABC News obtaining video of a 15-year-old girl pepper sprayed. In the GOP presidential race, all three candidates now backing off a pledge to support the eventual nominee. On CNN, Ted Cruz and John Kasich softening their stance, Trump abandoning the pledge and standing by his reversal on GMA. I just want to see who the GOP nominee is. I saw Ted Cruz. I've seen the lies. And on the Democratic side, Hillary Clinton Tuesday seeming to soften to the idea of a New York debate, something Bernie Sanders' campaign has been calling for. It's his childhood home and Clinton's adopted one. Lauren Lister, ABC News, Washington. Now we turn the latest on the MedStar health hack. The D.C. area healthcare chain says within the last 48 hours, the three main IT systems are moving to full restoration. Say at this point, no patient or associate information or data have been compromised. A source gave ABC7 a look at that message that popped up on the virus-infected computers. It appears hackers demanded Bitcoin currency from staff to recover files. The FBI is still investigating. The impacted hospitals do remain open. And Apple wants to know how the FBI hacked an iPhone used by one of the San Bernardino shooters. The company claims the hack may have exposed a security flaw. But after fighting a judge's order to help the FBI access the phone's information, the Justice Department is showing no interest in helping Apple. And while the how is not known, there are reports of forensics companies based in Israel helping investigators access the phone's contents. We move now uh, to a check of the forecast we saw earlier with some of those shots. At least the sun is kind of out there yeah, today. It's warming up a little bit and we're in a cool stretch. We're going to warm up a little bit the next few days then get chilly again as we head through the weekend and beyond. So uh, still that time of year, uh, but very nice right now. A lot of sunshine. We'll start with a time lapse. This is from Centerville in Fairfax County from Bull Run Elementary School where it's currently 58 degrees. Clear skies this morning and uh, nothing more than a few high thin clouds passing by during the day. I think is all we'll expect. But for the moment, uh, that's what we're seeing in the skies over uh, western Fairfax County. Now, as far as the uh, numbers go around the area, we'll start with the pollen numbers, and uh, not surprisingly, they were high again for trees in the high range. Absent of grass and weeds, uh, low uh, readings of mold spores counted uh, this morning. Now, as far as the uh, noontime numbers, cool. Our average high is now about 61 degrees, so uh, you know we're running a little behind the curve here. 52 degrees in Hagerstown, 55 in Culpeper, Manassas, 54 degrees at Andrews, 47 degrees in Annapolis right now, and 54 degrees at Reagan National Airport. Now through the day, we're going to warm up to about 61 to 63. Plenty of sunshine, just a few high clouds tonight. Looking for any planning purposes, uh, traveling this evening, it'll be fine. It'll be cool. Need a jacket with you or something as temperatures will drop into the mid to lower 50s. Southwesterly winds starting to pick up a bit later this evening and the southwesterly winds will be increasing because an area high pressure that is giving us all the sunshine and has given us the gusty northwest winds is now moving offshore. The winds are turning more to the south and southwest and that's going to bring in the warmer temperatures along with it. Now our future cast as we get through the day tomorrow, we're going to see the advance of some showers and thunderstorms, but it looks like most of the activity is going to split again. Most of it north and south by the afternoon. In the meantime, we'll have some clouds, a peak of sun and highs about 70 degrees and then into Friday, maybe a bit warmer, but we do see a better chance of showers and maybe even some thunderstorms. And we think the best chance for that might be in the pre-dawn hours of Friday and through the early parts of the rush hour Friday morning. Then they should just move on their way and get a little clearing here late in the day, late Friday afternoon. So our forecast for tomorrow, sunshine, and we're hitting the 70 degree mark as clouds increase, chance of showers in the evening, especially overnight to Friday morning. And on Friday again is a chance where we could have some isolated thunderstorms, 80% chance of showers, then breezy and clearing, 63 degrees on Saturday. Sunday, definitely cooler only in the low to mid 50s with sunshine and looking ahead to next week a little bit of a warm up modest mid 50s partly sunny skies on Monday and a chance of showers back on Tuesday and uh, some some of the longer range guidance suggests by next weekend we should be comfortably in the 60s just about every day. Okay, we'll All take right. that. Spring's coming, just kind of dragging its feet a bit. Pushing its way. Yeah. All right, Doug, thank you. Okay. Well, we want to get to an update now on the breaking news we brought you at the top of the hour. Hagerstown police tell us that a teenager at the house actually gave birth to the baby and placed the newborn on the porch. They say the girl made up the story about finding a random baby on the porch because she was scared. Now, no charges will be filed, and police tell us both baby and mother are doing okay. We'll have more at WJLA.com. Coming up here, though, on ABC 7 News at noon, a new lawsuit bringing up concerns about an ingredient used in baby products and the company at the center of it. What doctors say you should know about the chemical in question.